Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The market focus for this week will be on the ACB rate decision and US non-farm payroll data. Uh, this week, investors will closely monitor two key events, the European Central Bank rate decision and the release of uh, US non-farm payrolls data. And these events can significantly impact market sentiment and provide insights into the global economic recovery. Uh, let's delve into what we expect from these crucial developments for this week. As a beginning, we are going to look at the economic calendar and to interpret the fundamental data and later we are going to look at the technical perspective. The technical perspective is related with Euro USD this time, considering that all the focus in, is in these two major events that will pack this currency mainly, with many ups and downs this time, and we have to be very careful. So let's begin with the fundamental part. On Thursday, June 6th, I have selected the most important events, and we can see that uh, one hour before the opening of the US market, during the opening of the US market, we have the ACB monetary policy statement and ACB press conference at the opening of the US market. This time, it is expected uh, that the ACB may cut rates from 4.5% to 4.25%. However, we have to be careful because yesterday we had the data from Eurozone, the CPI data, these are preliminary data related to May, and we can see that we had a slight increase on the inflation numbers. Probably this is rising the chances that uh, the ACB may not cut rates soon. In my opinion, they may wait for uh, the, the Fed to begin the first one and probably the other major economies will follow Fed after that. Despite the fact that they uh, they denied this several times that they are not waiting for the Fed to begin the first one to cut rates. However, everyone is just expecting that. So let's be careful, but uh, this increase here is raising the chances that probably ACB may not cut rates this uh, time. However, considering the comments that we have seen during the last two months, all the ECB representatives are talking for possible rate cuts during June's meeting. During the previous two meetings, we saw President Lagarde that the, she said that we are not going to cut rates in June. We are data dependent despite these comments. However, we have to be careful because it can also happen. But considering the inflation numbers and this increase here, I think that probably they will not rush to cut the rates uh, in June, but probably in September or in October uh, as uh, the market is mainly focused. We have also uh, the summer season ahead of us and uh, we have to be careful because it is not the right time to take these decisions, in my opinion. However, let's see, usually the big decisions are taken at the beginning of the new season, so it means in September. Let's see what is going to happen. And the next one, we have the US non-farm payroll data on Friday. So this is going to be very important. During the previous month, it was 175K. And this time, this is expected to be 180K. However, if we are going to refer to the previous uh, non-farm payroll data, we can see that in April, it was reported uh, in May it was reported 175 May 3rd on April it was reported 315 March 236 256 so we can see that uh, during the last month despite the fact that all these numbers were above expectation as we have seen previously during the previous month this was uh, this was reported is a very small number. So probably the non-farm payroll data are showing a slight uh, decrease this time. And uh, if the numbers will come with uh, expectations or as the previous month, probably we may see that uh, 
it will impact the US dollar very strong because the market may anticipate any possible rate cut from the Fed. Considering that the Fed is already waiting for uh, the employment numbers to slow down and GDP to slow down as well in order to cut rates. So this is what they have said and interpreted previously. If the US is going to be strong, then they have to keep the rates uh, unchanged for a longer period of time in order to fly to fight inflation. So this is not good if this is going to decrease, but it is a sign that probably the inflation may slow down. So let's see what is going to happen. But on the other hand, we had also the CPI data on Friday as well from the US. It was very interesting. As you can see, we didn't have any change from compared to the previous month and compared to expectations. Thus, raising the chances that probably this is a good moment for the Fed to think about uh, cutting the interest rates. However, again, also for Fed, I think that uh, they may not change anything during uh, June meeting. They may wait for September or October. However, let's see, this is from a fundamental perspective and how the market may react. I don't think that President Lagarde is going to cut rates. However, let's be careful. And let's On see. the other hand, if we are going to look at the Euro USD and the dollar index, we can see how the price developed from the previous time that I posted this analysis. We are following this analysis from the top. This is the DXY, the dollar index that takes the value from a basket of currencies. On the daily chart of the, the price complete this harmonic pattern, we may see that it reached two of our targets. So this is on the right way and it is still pointing down. However, we have to be careful from the small ups and downs that may face. On the current situation, we can see that the price is still waiting for something. At this point, two of the major events already finished. We had GDP and also CPI data from the US and the price didn't rise further from this point. So it looks like we are in a period of time of correction. It looks very interesting, but we have to be very careful. At this moment, we have a top that the price already created near the zone here. And if the price will not manage to break through this area, then the chances will be that we may be in a type of correction. The problem is that uh, we can never know how, how much time it can take for the price to move down. It is moving not in a clear way, as you can see. So it keeps moving down with many ups and downs and it is spending many days. Uh, the top was created on April 16th. This new top, it was created at the beginning of May. So the price moving down, deep correction, moving down, deep correction. So again, we are in a moment of correction without a clear trend. And it looks like that the price is taking a pause again before we see the next bearish movement happening. Uh, the only thing that we have to be careful for a possible strength on the US dollar, but uh, I don't think that it is going to happen. It will be only if the price will break the previous zone that we have here, if it moves up because it can test the top of the structure again. However, so far, this is looking very interesting. The dollar index is showing for this type of pattern so far. And probably it can begin any bearish movement zone. So let's see what is going to happen. I am still focused on this movement for the other target, taking in consideration the dollar index. So this is for the first one. This is in line with expectations. So let's see now, but it is not uh, looking as clear as it should have been at this moment, because also the market is not uh, so confident about a possible rate cut or, or what the Fed may do. So let's see what is going to happen during this week. On the other hand, we have also Euro USD that I have discussed several times. So we are going to break this down from a bigger picture. And as you can see on the bigger picture, the price faced a very strong support zone 
this is dating back in November 2022. We have structure support, structure support. So this was tested several times, uh, proving in this way that uh, the buyers were well positioned close to 1.05. So this is adding the chances that probably the bottom was created in this area. The current economic conditions, and I think that uh, also the geopolitical conditions are not bad so far, or at least we are not uh, hearing anything uh, for the moment. So let's hope everything will be uh, clear on, on this topic. This is raising the chances for the price to continue with the bigger picture. So this is what I'm expecting from a technical perspective. On the bigger picture, the price was in July 2023, so it was approximately one year ago. And in about one month and a half, it is possible that the price may test the same zone that I'm looking at for this picture. In this way, the bigger picture will be a big sideways movement. This is the movement that I'm expecting here. And the price can test 1.12. So this is the one that we are looking at. On the daily chart that I explained during the previous analysis for Euro USD, this was one of the videos that I prepared when the price was at the bottom. Sorry, this is the analysis. I was expecting for this support area and the possible reversal. This was posted on April 15th. And after the price faced strong resistance, we can see how beautiful it moved from this blue zone here. If we are going to look at the amount of pips, the price moved from bottom to top approximately 290, 300 pips here as movement. So it was a decent move. And we are still anticipating a bigger bullish wave. However, it can take time because all this movement was created in about, uh, let's say, 44, 45 days in about one month and a half. It was not bad at all as a movement. And also later, I explained what the price was doing at this point. So this was another analysis that I posted for Euro USD. And as you can see, everything was according to expectations. So, so the price reached both targets and stopped in this area again. So what is happening with Euro USD now? If we are going to look at on this part of the information, we can see that we had this type of pattern for Euro USD. And we are in a type of broadening wedge pattern that is still expanding on the upper side. We had one, two impulsive movements are up. We have correction, impulsive, correction, impulsive, and we are in a very large correction. So this was above the expectations this time. Uh, we didn't expect this type of big corrections, but considering that we had the CPI data and also uh, the, the GDP data, so they were from both Eurozone and uh, the US, the price spent time in the zone. And I think that probably this correction was already completed and we may see a bullish movement happening soon. So we can be in a bullish impulsive movement from this area. The first uh, K resistance zone that we may face on Euro USD will be this area here. And it makes sense because if we are going to look at the structure, this is also an important zone. So look at where we are. We are at 1.0980. So this is, let's say, 1.1 at this point, if we are going to take this in consideration. The reason that I'm looking at here is because we are talking about a strong psychological number where, where uh, all the market is focused. And this is the reason why I think that this is going to be a very strong resistance zone. On the other hand, if we are going to move on the daily chart, this is what we have. It makes sense that the price may face the first and the strongest resistance zone. So it can face profit taking in this area and we may see EURUSD moving down further again. However, 
if any of the economies is going to cut the interest rates, and considering that everyone is waiting for Fed, once the price breaks through this area, then it will continue to grow further. And the other zones where we can take profits or we may focus where the price may face the strongest resistance is going to be this area here. Look at the shadows that we have on this part of the information. This is where the price may react. We are on a daily chart, so it can be a very strong zone where the price may stop again. It is uh, 1.11, so another strong psychological zone considering this price. And this is the first one that we had. And the most important one will be the top of the structure so this is what we are looking at here and we are close to 1.12 so all the most important uh, structure zones are labeled for profit taking and for resistance zones for all this area we may see euro usd taking a breath later it may rise it can take a pause it may rise again so this is what i'm looking at for the moment and that's all for uh, euro usd so let's see what is going to happen during the coming week i hope you guys enjoyed the analysis thanks for watching please don't forget to hit the like button and follow bye bye